coming to maturational dyschromia. Now this is, uh, you know, there are a group of conditions, maturational dyschromia, subotic melanosis, facial acanthosis, nigricans, which require a little further characterization. I think probably in the next few years, uh, they would be characterized a little better. I'm going to try and attempt to make some kind of a distinction. Maturational dyschromia, uh, middle to elderly age group, the lateral forehead and cheekbones are the common areas, but there is no evidence to suggest acanthosis, nigricans. The difference here is basically the rugosity of the skin which doesn't, is not there in maturational dyschromia and which is there in facial acanthosis. Now is maturational dyschromia an early, early part of facial acanthosis, nigricans? Something which we are not very sure of. But let me tell you, in most cases of facial acanthosis, nigricans, you don't see the typical histopathologic features of acanthosis, nigricans. What are much more typical is the dermoscopic features, which I'm going to come to sometime later. So maturational dyschromia, the sides of the face, but no evidence to suggest acanthosis, this kind of pigmentation. Here again, 